Um, Brian asked me to do a talk, and uh, I've been thinking about cranes. About 50% of my thoughts have been cranes lately, so I decided to do a talk on cranes. Um, when I first got started in the business, I worked for my father. He had a crane. So at 18, I was running a crane. And then the uh, second company I worked for, they had a crane. So I was either running a crane or in the tree, running in the, working with the crane. And then I moved here in Seattle Tree Preservation and had a crane. So I've always had a crane and just recently bought a crane. So I thought, I can talk about cranes and crane safety. <laughs> <laughs> but then I started researching and looking into stuff and I saw the climber safety schools and crane certification. I've never gotten a crane certification. And I started having second thoughts, like maybe I'm not the right person to talk about this. But, um, but we're going to talk about it. I, at least I have some experience. <laughs> so I love cranes. Like I say, I've always used cranes. And um, so many, re how many people use cranes? All right, so we have people use cranes. Um, I mean, lots of reasons to use cranes. Uh, efficiency is one, and um, hazard. Um, if you're, you know, falling over on a house, all those kind of reasons. Um, saving your back with the big wood. Um, a tie-in point, if you have no tie-in point for work in the tree, even if you're rigging off the tree, you can use a crane to tie into. Um, using the wood, I, there's one thing, you know, I feel bad killing trees because here I am, I love trees, and then I, my job is to kill them. So, but then it really feels bad cutting these trees up in someone's yard into firewood. And I'm like, this is beautiful wood, it should be used. And so that's another reason why I really wanted to get a trick crane as soon as I could so that I could bring that wood, harvest it, use it. One, one tree I take to the mill is one tree less to the mill. You know, tree has to be killed or whatever. So, lots of reasons. Um, here's a, uh, a slide of a big job. I wish I had pictures of my crane on here because I have a very little crane. So it's a little more practical uh, as far as what normally people would use more. This is a job I did with Seattle Tree Preservation and we used Nest Crane and they brought a big crane out. We had to take down, this is a, uh, a oak, chestnut oak right next to a house. Uh, you can see why we had to take it down and it was so huge that we rented this crane to take it down. Um, Look, of course, see that's it there. And uh, houses around it. And so, um, green was very helpful. It is inside. And so, um, use proximity to the house there. This trunk, we took a piece at the end. It was, it was somewhere about here. We're all guessing how much it weighed. And everybody guessed, you know, 12,000, 13,000. It turned out to be 24,000 pounds. It's that bottom section. That's a big crane. Balancing is key when you're using a crane, setting your chokers up so that you get a good pick and uh, that you're safe. Oh, I also wanted to talk, uh, talk about tying into the, uh, the crane itself. And um, OSHA doesn't have 
anything on that. They refer to ANSI standards because they haven't got the specifics. So the ANSI standards say um, that you can ride, ride the, uh, you can tie into the crane if you need to. Like say that the tree is a hazardous tree. So you can get lifted up with the crane. What you can't do is you can't be tied into the hook itself. So um, there's a couple different techniques of tying into right above the hook. Using a big shackle that's wired together and then you put your false crotch through that shackle. So then your rope is you're not on the hook, you're connected to uh, right above the hook through your false crotch. So then the crane can pick you up, you can set your slings, that way you can take the slings off the crane too, you can set them up, then you can put the tension, then you can rappel down to where you need to take your cut, and then get your rope out of there and, and make your cut. Or you could just stay tied into the crane and um, just use it to support you as you're cutting things on the tree, cutting things up. So it is legal. Some people say, no, it's illegal, You'll, you can't do it, but it, it is. You need to. Got a quick question, Dan. Yes. We ran into that same thing. So I put a false crotch above the block, but yet I still repelled out of the hook. It was easier for what I was doing. So I had a backup. Have you had any experience with that? Uh. So you had two ropes, or? Yep. So basically I had a, uh, a um, attachment point above the block, uh -huh. but I used the actual ball, the opening, to remove oh. a lot of that. Huh. How come was that easier than a false crutch? Well, at the time, I didn't want to leave anything up there, and oh. the way this was with four pulleys, oh. they yeah. didn't want anything that would get caught up in the pulleys. Right. So, so different circumstances. Right. But yeah, I'm kind of considering up. just one cable. Yeah. That's a whole different thing if you got this pulley system like this crane here. Correct. Multiple cables. Yeah. And if you have a false crotch and you have the big eye and the little eye, you run it backwards than you normally would. So you stick the uh, stick your spliced eye through the big one first and then through the small one. So when you pull it out, it won't pull your false crotch out. It'll go through the small one. You can yank on it to get it to come out. So here we have a piece coming down and then that's the, um, that's the other uh, thing with cranes is placing that piece. You gotta make sure that you can not only handle the load when you're picking it up, but you can handle the load where you're putting it down. So you have to figure where that piece is going to go and make sure you're not going to be overloading the crane by booming down to the right spot. And then placing your piece, the guys on the ground got to be aware of how to uh, position the piece. And then as it comes down, you could be tensioning a lot of branches. So, I mean, the easiest thing to do is leave it up in the air while you cut those branches and then let it lower it down. And um, I mean, usually that's the safest way to go, um, but a lot of times it's the quicker way to go is to get it on the ground and get that crane back to the climber so he can start working with the crane while the ground crew deals with the, the nets on the bottom. There I am there. Here's what I'm talking about with the tension of the branches as I lay them down. They, you can get a lot of tension and you have to watch here where you had it tied in too because it can change the change the load. There's over the roof. After a while it starts getting, it's a puzzle, you know? You gotta, you got to figure out how to take the tree apart. It's like a, a backwards puzzle. So if you leave yourself something to tie into sometimes, and then, then it goes away. I don't know why I put a 
a face in that. I'm not sure why. Because usually you don't put a face in something to drop it away. For some reason, I, I had a face in that. Dan? Yes. One minute? Yeah. Okay, I'm wrapping it up. Another thing is uh, stacking your logs so they're not in the way when you're bringing more stuff down. And there we go. Thank you. Did, did Dan I have one question? <laughs> Yes, communication with the uh, headphones is is the best to fit with the with the headgear. Yeah. If I had it before, important. Um, when we were working for Morton Preserve, uh, the train guy was an asshole, so I came down and used wires. Wires, it's all wires. We've been using a camera frame for like years, like for 30 years. So Morton and other guys want to. I had the same exact experience where I stopped a job and it wasn't even my job. I was a contract climber and I said I will not work with this crane person. And, uh, there's nothing out there. There's absolutely nothing out there that's worth dying for. If you're in an uncompromising position with an uncompromising personality, don't do it. Grain tree work is tricky. I mean, yeah. you got to be able to be quick with the controls but not fast. You know, that piece has got to move up and away from the climber right away, but not fast. Smooth and easy. <laughs> All right.